Welcome back to the Tool Crib. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a pretty nice flashlight. This is the M2R Pro Warrior from Olight. Now, I'm a little late to this party. Uh, this flashlight has been out for a little over a year or right out a year. And I, but I've just recently gotten into Olights. In fact, about uh, four, five weeks ago, I purchased both this flashlight and the Olight Warrior Mini. And I've done a full review on this one, which you can see here if you're interested. Now, the Olight Warrior Mini had a lot of features to it. I really like this flashlight for an EDC. And for a lot of the same reasons I like the Mini, I really like the M2R Pro Warrior as well. So first of all, some of the things that you get with it. Obviously, you get the flashlight. It's gonna come included with the 21700 optimized battery that will come inside the flashlight. You're gonna get a stainless steel pocket clip that is dual position and dual orientation. For those that like to belt carry, and I do for this particular flashlight, I think once you get to the 21700 battery platform, it's a little bit large from my personal taste to pocket carry. I know a lot of people do. I just feel it's a little bit large. So they include a belt sheath with it. This is actually one of the better belt sheaths that I've seen from flashlight manufacturers. Comes with a button clasp and several ways to mount this as well. So on the back, you have a little ring here so you can attach it with a carabiner. Obviously, you can belt carry it. And then they include this button strap too so that you can attach it to a pack. So that's very nice that they include several different options or several different ways to attach that particular sheath. The next thing you'll get is their lanyard. And on the lanyard, you have a little uh, attachment pin or to aid you in setting the flashlight or the, uh, excuse me, the lanyard to the flashlight because the attachment point for the lanyard is a little, little small on this flashlight. So that helps you to get that lanyard attached and set onto your flashlight. It's a very nice little option that they add with it. And the last thing that comes with it is their MCC3 or their third generation magnetic charger capable of charging at two amps. This flashlight has a magnetic tail cap and so all you have to do is set it on there. It makes it very convenient for charging up the flashlight. Well, let's get into some of the other features and functions of the M2R Pro Warrior. Well, let's go over some of the features of the Olight uh, M2R Pro Warrior. So first of all, we're gonna start with the emitter. It's going to utilize a Cree XHP35 HI emitter, and that's going to provide you with a slightly warmer tone than most flashlights in this class. It's a, it's a little toned down, it's a little easier on the eyes. Now they combine that emitter with the TIR optic lens, which is going to provide you a, a fairly large hot spot, but it's also going to give you a generous amount of flood. Uh, it really does strike a, a good balance between the two. Now this flashlight also carries a 1.5 meter drop rating and it's going to be IPX8 waterproof rated as well. So drop it in a puddle, use it in the rain, uh, and this light's just going to keep right on performing. Now, charging is super simple with the included MCC3 or third generation magnetic charging uh, from Olight. Uh, charges at a rate of two amps. So charge time on this from fully uh, depleted battery to fully charged is about five hours. Uh, it's gonna feature an all aluminum body with some pretty aggressive milling. Uh, it's gonna provide a, a really secure grip whether you, you're using it with a bare hand or gloved hand. It also has some uh, milled in flats as well. That uh, helps prevent the flashlight from rolling even on a flat surface uh, or a smooth surface or an unlevel surface, even with the pocket clip detached. So that's a feature that is pretty common in flashlights, but not always included. So I'm glad that that's on there. Now it also comes with a very aggressive strike bezel. Now uh, this is a feature that a lot of people are gonna like. Uh, this is kind of lends to its tactical use. So if you find yourself in a self-defense situation without a weapon, that strike bezel can serve to, as a last ditch effort uh, to help ward off an attack. Now, some of the keeping with that theme, some of the accessories that you can get with this flashlight, which uh, unfortunately uh, they were out of stock on. So I wanted to get them for this video, but they didn't have them. Uh, was a rail mount for the flashlight itself. And you can get a, uh, a, an electronic pressure switch that goes along with it as well. So hopefully in the future, I'll be able to pick uh, those two items up. Now, uh, included with this light uh, is, the, is the two position deep carry, well, it's a deep carry two position and dual orientation pocket clip. So you can, you can have it mounted to either end of the flashlight. In this case, I have it on the bezel end, but you can very easily slip it off flip it around to the opposite side. So for those who wanted to pocket carry this flashlight, uh, it actually carries very deeply in the pocket. It's a very nice pocket clip that comes included. 
Uh, it also features a raised uh, two-stage magnetic tactical switch. Now, uh, that helps to... It makes it, because it's raised, it, it makes it a little bit easier to operate, but it still has the ability to tail stand. And you'll notice the three nubs that protrude out past the end of the, of the switch. Now, I will say that uh, even though it can stand, it's only on three points of contact, and so it can be a little bit unstable on a non ferrous surface. But because it is magnetic, if you are standing this on a ferrous surface, it holds very well in the vertical position. It also holds very well uh, in, if you're hanging it from underneath, if you're hanging it in a vertical position, it, it's a little heavy though to try to set it on, uh, is set it horizontally. So if you're trying to attach it to a, a, a plate that is uh, like a wall and you're setting it against it, the flashlight itself is actually too heavy and it will tend to, uh, it, it'll just uh, detach because the flashlight is just a little bit too heavy for horizontal. But uh, either vertically in either direction. And so bezel up or bezel down, it holds quite well. Now this also, uh, the battery source, actually let me get that clip out of the way real quick. The battery source on here is a 3.6 volt, 5,000 milliamp, 21700 battery. Uh, now I have been told, I haven't tried this yet. I have been told that you can use an aftermarket battery, but what you'll this is a, this particular battery is optimized by Olight to work with their magnetic charging. So what you'll lose if you, if you are using a different power source is you will lose the ability to magnetically charge this uh, with the included charger from Olight. Now it also features on the uh, side switch, it also features a little LED indicator. In fact, let's turn that on. You can see that illuminates green. So from 100% down to 75%, that little LED is going to be green. Now from 75% down to about 30%, that, that LED will change to an orange color. And below 30% and above, well, from 30% to 10%, that LED will change to red. And then once you get to critical battery life or below 10%, that uh, that LED will begin to flash red, letting you know that it is time to recharge it. The last feature though, and the one that I most like about the Olight M2R Warrior or Pro Warrior is the user interface. It is a very, very intuitive, easy to learn interface uh, that makes this flashlight a real joy to use. Let's get into that right now. Well, let's take a look at the user interface for this flashlight, which is actually pretty intuitive. It's pretty easy to learn. So all seven modes for this flashlight are accessible through the side switch. And then you have a few modes. You have three modes that are available through the tactical tail switch as well. So the first one that we're going to get into is called the, the moonlight mode. This is a one lumen mode. To access that one, you will long press on the side switch and that will activate the one lumen mode. Now, a single click will shut it off from any of those settings. Now, the next one, what's happened now is Moonlight Mode is the last setting we were in, so it will stay in memory. So when we come back on, it will be in Moonlight Mode with a single click. Now, to access the next four settings, which are going to go from Low to Medium 2 to Medium 1 and then to High, you will Long Press. And I'm just going to cycle through them for just a second. And now when you cycle all the way around, it will come back, but you'll notice that the moonlight mode drops off. So it will go back to the low setting. So this is your 15 lumen setting. And then if you long press again, you'll get into medium two, which is 60 lumens. And then long press again, medium one, that is 250 lumens. And then finally high, which is 750 lumens. And then a single click will shut it off. Now, of all those five settings, the moonlight, the low, medium two, medium one, and high, whichever setting you left the flashlight in, when you click back on with just a single click to the side switch, that's the mode it will come back to. That's what's held in the memory. So we left it in high. When we click it back on, it will come back on in high mode. Now, if we cycle through and we're to leave it in our medium two setting, shut it off. When we come back in, it will stay in that setting. So of those five, uh, settings, those can be held in memory with a single click on the side switch. Now you can access uh, turbo mode as well. Turbo mode from the side switch is a quick double click. So two clicks will get us into the 1800 lumen turbo mode and then a single click to shut it off. Now to access strobe from the side switch, it is a triple click. So one, two, three will get us into our strobe function and then a single click to shut it off as well. 
Now the tail switch, the tactical tail switch actually has two different configurations and mine's set up right now in the first configuration. So this tail switch is actually a two stage switch. You can half press it and then you can full press it. Right now uh, in the first configuration it's gonna be set up in the, uh, for the half press will be 250 lumen uh, medium one mode and then the full press is gonna be the 1800 lumen turbo mode. So low or medium and then turbo. Now you'll notice that when I press that and long pressed it, whenever I release, the flashlight automatically shuts off. But on, on this particular configuration, you can quick press it, either half press or quick full press, and those two modes will stay on constant. So if we do the low one first, that is 250 and it stays on with just a quick press. And then the same thing is true of the turbo mode, a quick press and release, and it will stay on constant. But if we hold it down, then when we release, it automatically shuts off. That's your temporary setting. Now to access the second configuration, you'll press the tail switch down and then single click the side switch and that will change the configuration. So now when we half press, we're gonna be in the turbo mode and our full press is going to be our strobe mode. So half press for turbo, full press for strobe. Now the difference in this configuration is both of these settings are just temporary. You cannot just quick click it and leave it on. It will automatically go off. And to switch back, again, press the tail switch, side switch once, and that will get you into the first configuration. Now there's also a, an electronic lockout as well. To access the lockout, you're gonna long press the side switch. The moonlight mode is gonna come on. You'll keep it pressed until the moonlight mode goes off, and then you will be in lockout mode. So long press, light on, light off, and now we are in lockout. So no matter what switch we hit, the flashlight is locked out. Now to get out of the lockout mode, you just long press the side switch until your moonlight mode comes on, and now you are back in business. Now we can cycle through just like before, and a single click shuts it off. Now if there's one thing that I would change with this flashlight, it would be in the tactical switch though. Uh, what happens is it takes quite a bit of pressure to push on and to hold it in place. And it really causes a lot of fatigue. You can see just, just a slight amount of release and the flashlight will go off. So I wish that this was a little more conducive. It was a little softer press to hold that in. I've, I've used a lot of other flashlights that are a lot easier when it comes to those two stage switches. This is really my only complaint with the user interface for this flashlight. Uh, those that have arthritis, or even people like me, I don't have any of those ailments uh, as of yet, knock on wood. But even for me, holding either one of those settings in the temporary mode can be quite fatiguing on the thumb. So if there's that one thing that I would definitely like to see changed or upgraded in future versions of this flashlight. Now there are a number of things that I like about this flashlight. First of all, I like some of the light settings. I like the, the more, in particular, I like the one lumen setting, the 250 and the turbo 1800. Now the one lumen setting, I find it very advantageous for navigating indoors in the dark when you're not trying to disturb people around you. It gives you just enough light to illuminate your pathway, but not so much that you're disturbing people around you. The 250 setting is where I generally like to keep my flashlights as a everyday use, so just a general light. So being able to quickly access a 250 lumens, very convenient for me. And then the turbo mode is exceptionally bright with 300 meters of throw, 1800 lumens. It really gets out there a long ways. The emitter being that warmer tone I find it a lot easier on the eyes than, than using a cool white or a, a brighter white light. Uh, this is my, really my first experience with a, a warmer toned LED like that and I find that I, I really do like the tone of this flashlight. That large hotspot from the TIR optic lens too gives you a really broad hotspot as well as a very generous amount of flood. It just makes an overall great experience with a flashlight. Now, if there's one thing that would necessarily be a, uh, a hindrance for me, it's the fact that it has the magnetic tail cap. And that's because of the industry I work in. As a welder and a millwright, we encounter uh, a multitude of different uh, times where you're, gonna, where you're gonna run into metallic dust, and metallic shavings, and that is something that will eventually, at some point, it's gonna hinder the ability for the tail switch to work properly. 
Now, the reason I'm going to overlook it is because I like this flashlight so much for the other features and the light settings and how enjoyable it is to use. But being as it, I'm going to be holster carrying this, more often than not, it's going to be in the holster until such time as I need it. So it's going to be kind of protected from, from uh, filling up with that metallic debris. So there's something that I'm going to overlook for a little while or try to. And uh, at, at any rate, if and when it, that does occur, I'm thinking that with just a, a nice shot of compressed air, I'll be able to clean that switch back up. I'm hoping that's the case because the other features of this flashlight are really outstanding. It is a really, really great light. Now, this light runs about $110. I'm going to have a coupon code down in the description box. If you just uh, if you want to go to Olight, uh, there will be a link there. I highly recommend this light. And if you use the code TXTOOL, that will give you 10% off of non-promotional uh, products from Olight. This is one of those lights that uh, I... <laughs> I never thought that I'd find, well, eventually I thought I would find something that would replace my Phoenix PD36R. I didn't think I would find it quite this quickly as, you know, battery technology and flashlight technology just ever increasing every year. But this is one fantastic light, 1800 meters or 1800 lumens, 300 meters of throw, just all the different features and functions to this flashlight. I find it a very enjoyable experience. This is the Olight M2R Pro Warrior. Highly recommend it. I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you in the next one.